Next question is from Coach Cure. Do you find the reverse grip bench press useful, or is it just an old school overrated Man, move? I cannot remember the last time I did this. It's been a long time since I've done this exercise. So I, you know, when I got introduced to these, there was a a power lifter that <sighs> yeah, was in the magazines a yes, lot who used to do his bench press. Something always. Clark. Uh, he he looked like he, he was, had the record at one point. Did yeah, he? Yeah, maybe Doug can look him up. He was like he was he was either Filipino or Hawaiian, massive dude. And he would bench press like 700 pounds with this reverse grip. Yeah. And I remember thinking like, what? Like, yeah, what's this, the advantage there? What's the value, right? So reverse grip bench presses, first off, um, got to get comfortable with them, okay? Because you don't want to fail on that. And also racking with the reverse grip can be very scary. Yeah, this is like a good partner exercise. It's a good Yikes. partner exercise or get yourself in position and practice and, and learn how to, how to do it right. Um, did you, oh, and was it Anthony Clark? Yeah, show, show a picture of this guy. So- this is the guy that, um, that... I can't believe you remembered that. I don't, I don't know. Just I up. remember... Super random. I know. I remember that guy. Yeah, there I he would, is. Could never, I would never be able to... Wow, look at you remembered all that. Yeah, he was Filipino. Yeah, so... And he would bench like ridiculous uh, uh, amounts of weight with the, with the reverse grip. But anyhow, the reverse grip, what it does is it forces the elbows in. Yeah, 805 is his bench uh, record. Yeah, so it, 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 <laughs> he passed away actually in uh, 2005. So. That's insane. Um, it forces the elbows in, so you can use more front delt. And believe it or not, elbows in also works, also works the upper chest mm. more because of the way that the fibers of the upper chest Orient when your elbows well, are in. Decelerating come up. too. I mean, aren't you like engaging your biceps a bit more mm -hmm. as well? Maybe stabilization. Just stabilizing it? Yeah. I don't, a lot of tricep though. Yeah, a lot of tricep. Tricep well, front delt yeah. And, yeah. and you get that upper chest. Now I noticed when I did these and I started practicing them, get good at them, that I got a little carryover to my regular bench press. And this is why I started hmm. doing them because you know, back then bench press was the- I liked them. I was on a kick for a while where it was, I used to put it in the routine. That's why when he brought this, I was like, wow, I haven't even thought about that exercise in so long long yeah you know it's uh i mean here's a great part once you've been lifting for a really long time it's a great movement and you can absolutely and you know i where would you put it though are you guys putting it in as a, a replacement of a chest exercise yep. or would you put it in as a oc oh, so i would use it more often like a like a close bench press for your triceps mm -hmm. i would sometimes do a reverse no i would i, I so would it was do a it, tricep thing i would me. do it instead of a bench press uh, or i would do it uh, as a another press for chest right so if i did my bench press see i use it class. for triceps mm -hmm. that's and mm -hmm. by the way you can do that yes you can you can you in an exercise especially like that one you can put more emphasis on one muscle more than the other, like Sal was mm -hmm. talking about, the main ones that are incorporated there. If you're trying to get the chest out of it, you can really focus mm -hmm. on chest. If mm -hmm. you want triceps, you can focus on using more. That's what's kind of cool about compound lifts is you can mentally concentrate on a muscle that you want to take over the lift more. Yeah, you know you know what really, too, what it does with the bench is, you know how if you want to bench a lot of weight, how you get real tight and you kind of suck in the elbows and activate the lats? The reverse grip bench press really encourages that tight feeling. In fact, I'm surprised, Justin. Yeah, that you've I never done this. I've never, yeah, experimented. It's this got an, my brain, uh, you know, going. This like is an right this exercise has your name all over. I, yeah. I feel like if you did them, you'd actually love. Well, them. it's interesting because it, you know how the, the the stance. I don't know if it's like Taekwondo where they always have this position. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they're like, oh, it just reminds me of that. It's like the power stance. Mm. Uh, but uh, yeah, I've never messed with that. I know. W would you also then experiment with doing something uh, like uh, if if you take that and then you bring it back over your head and then you do some pull? Oh, with the reverse wow. grip. Wow. So you do like a pullover to a press? Yeah, I'm wondering. That's an interesting exercise. Yeah, uh, I don't know. That'd yeah, be, I think be weird. Well, the amount of weight you could probably press is not only, much. Yeah, you I mean, yeah, you'd have to you'd have to use light weight in order to do that. No, so I mean by itself. Like I would just be using yeah, for 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 doing that with just the reverse grip. I'm just thinking about using reverse grip. I'm going to have to experiment. Well, like that. Sal said, I think I mean this this uh, exercise I think it would would be in your wheelhouse. This I mean, is like place your, your strength. Yeah, it's your strengths. Uh, yeah. I mean, so I, I imagine you know as many times as I've done it, we could probably do it right now. You probably out outperform Sal and I both because those are your strengths.